Okay, here with Coach Armand from Georgia Tech Women's Tennis. How has the season gone overall for the Yellow Jackets? You know, it's been an interesting year. We struggled a bit in the beginning of the year, and I think we got momentum as we got going. And we won 11 of our last 13 matches uh, going into the ACC tournament, so I felt like we had a lot of confidence going in, and I felt like we played pretty well at the ACC tournament as well. And speaking of the ACC tournament, made a run all the way to the finals. You beat several good teams there. You start off as a sixth seed and, and you know, beat some good opponents. How does that help you prepare for the NCAA? Does that give the, the women some confidence heading into Gainesville this weekend? You know, I think so. I think we. the thing is we have played such a tough schedule that we play so many good players and so many good teams that once you really get on a roll, as we were able to do at one point, you do get a lot of confidence. I think... You know, we were playing very well going into the tournament, AC, the ACC tournament. We played very well there. Unfortunately, uh, as all the schools have, we had finals, which kind of stop everything for a minute. So you're trying to get yourself back and trying to get back out and trying to get yourself ready to go. But I think we're starting to get ourselves ready, and it's going to be tough. We play Wichita State on uh, Friday, so we've got to be ready to roll on Friday. For those not familiar with the team, kind of what's the makeup of the roster? Do you have a veteran group, a, a young group, or is, or is there more of a mix? Overall, we have a, a weird, a weird setup. We have three, we have three seniors coming up. Three seniors, they're three juniors this year. We have three freshmen, and we have two sophomores. Okay, so it's a balanced team. How does, does that make it coaching a little bit easier? Because the young, older players come up to younger players, and the younger players bring some some youth and energy to the program. Is that kind of how it balances things out? You know, I, I think so. I think I would, anytime you bring up three players in, you always have to struggle with chemistry. And because the players you bring in are highly recruited, and they've been the main person at, at their, for, for example, Paige has been in tennis New Zealand, she's been the main person, or Alexis was the main person in Tennis Canada. So all of a sudden, they're not the main person. They have to come in and fit in, into a team environment and get adjusted to school and a variety of things. So I, you know, I think when you bring three players in, it's, it's uh, daunting at times, but I think the girls have done a good job of blending and, and working together. And I think now we have you know, good, fellowship of players that, you know, really work with each other well. So it definitely was a test in the beginning, but I think it's worked out. You mentioned finals and having to get them back going again. And obviously you play, I think, four matches in four days that ended up working out for the ACCs. How do you balance giving the, the women rest, yet still keep, keeping them sharp, preparing for your first match, I believe, on Friday? You know, it's, it, it's been, it's tough because everybody's a little bit different. Um, some people need a little more time off. I mean, it's more individualized, and a lot of it's also based on their exam schedule and who has more time off. We had one player who didn't have any exams, so she was able to come out more than another player who maybe had three or four exams. Uh, but you have to look at each individual and just try to, after we've gone through this whole year, try to figure out what's best for them. And it's definitely tricky because you don't have everybody at the same time. So. You have to have more of an individualized practice for them. Yeah, we're right here in your indoor facility, and you have a great outdoor facility, too. Just discuss the, the benefits of being in Atlanta as well, just the positives of this program, and how does that help contribute to the overall success of the program? Well, Georgia Tech women's tennis is a great history, and, and you know my friend Brian Shelton said before, and they've won you know four ACC titles and two national indoor titles, and a a national title and they had a, a singles winner from the NCAA, singles champion and a ton of All-Americans. So people around the country know Georgia Tech tennis on the women's side for all the success they've had. And we're just trying to build on that, the success they've already made. So our girls have a lot to live up to. Yeah, and lastly, you said you have Wichita State and uh, some other tough teams in your region. What are some th two or three things the team's going to have to do well this weekend to emerge as a winner and move on to the next set of contests? Well, I, I think one of the things we've got to do, we've got to be willing to, to play rallies. Um, it's going to be like 90 degrees down in Gainesville, and it's going to be pretty humid. So we've got to be able to use our ability to be consistent, be able to move the ball around, to cut down on unforced errors and first and second ball errors, and then look for opportunities to attack, because we're really more of an attacking team. So really try to finish strongly at the net and um, hopefully serve well, because we have a lot of good servers on our team, so hopefully we serve well as well. Okay.